Now, in Texas, for the first time, the Parks and Wildlife Authorities are trying to work out what the cost has been to the gar population. On the Lower Trinity, we're en route to set what are called jug lines, baited hooks attached to floats. Our plan is to catch as many gator gar as possible and then monitor them with electronic tags. Dr. Dave Buckmeyer leads this project. Dave, what's the state of knowledge on the gar at the moment? Alligator gar, uh, along with other gars and buffalo and things, yeah. have always been considered kind of rough fish, um, which no one really cared much about. Is that the same as trash fish? That's, uh, trash fish would be yeah, another yeah. common name for it. Yeah. Uh, and so there was actually even efforts to try and eradicate uh, alligator gar and other gars from po populations because they were believed to have eaten desirable fish, if you will, largemouth bass and yeah. things that we have, right. catfish. They have recently been listed as vulnerable by the American Fisheries Society, and that's because in most states they're, they're definitely on the decline. Yeah. So we have some real reasons for concerns about the species. Yeah. Shall I check this out? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Throw that one up there. Yeah. And it unwinds itself, does it? Is that? Yeah, it just, as the bait sinks, it'll unwind. And then that lies on the, on the bottom. And right, just, and that yeah. lies on the bottom, and yeah. when the gar come up to feed, they'll kind of comb the bottom, pick up the bait, yeah. and uh, usually run with it for 15, 20 minutes. Um, and after, they've, after we're confident they've swallowed it, we'll go pick up the oh, bait. It's you know, spinning nicely yeah. there. Oh, it looks like it's gone to rest. Not much research has yet been done, but it's thought few gator gar reach their maximum lifespan of 60 years. As we move on to set more lines, there's a call from the opposite bank of the river. We've actually just put out some jug lines and nets, but some, some local guys here, they've got a trot line out, a line going across the river with uh, hooks at intervals, and they've just pulled a small, uh, a small gar out on that. So uh, the first fish actually now to be, is going to be tagged, and then all the, the measurements taken. 78 is the tag number. The tag will provide the biologists with data about which areas of the Trinity River the gar are using, so they can formulate a plan to protect the species. Sounds like a visit to the dentist, but actually quite appropriate because the scales of these things are very made of something called ganoin, which is actually very similar to tooth enamel. So uh, hence the need for a drill just to penetrate that body armor. Engineered like medieval chainmail, the Gar's suit of armor is built from thick diamond-shaped scales, providing a formidable defense against attack. They're so hard that Native Americans use them for arrowheads. And the fish, I can't even feel it tensing. It's just lying here very, very calmly. Wet towel over it, over the eyes as well. Quite important, it's just come out of a very muddy river where it can't see much into the bright light. Unlike my last experience, this young guard displays no aggressive behavior. If you'll read so that, that number, the top number. OK, this is 44433. Three. Oh, we're going to we're right. just let that one go. Uh, OK. The gar is released unharmed. Oh! <laughs> I guess he wanted to go. <laughs> he wanted to go. The electronic tag will now send a signal to a series of receivers to monitor the fish's movements. After several hours, the scientist's own search is finally successful. Yes, you want to grab the Nothing on the jug lines, but one caught in a net, a two-foot gar. I think other than that, there are no signs of any monster-sized fish. It looks like the population of these fish is in a worse state than I thought. Maybe in the old days when these fish were literally everywhere, crude techniques would work. But now, I think I'm going to have to develop an approach that is more precise and targeted. Oh, oh my so god, you got bit, huh? I was just in there trying to get rid of it. Suddenly, 